This year's outstanding pupil and Ducks of the School is Mark Smalley. Smalley, come in, Smalley. Anyone in there? Ah, welcome back. Now, perhaps you can answer my question. <coughs> um, sheep, sir? If you don't wake up to yourself, Smalley, do you know what you're going to end up as? Sheep's poop, sir. <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. No, sir, you've trodden some, sir. <laughs> the past doesn't mean a thing to you, does it, Smalley? You see, everyone here did well in primary school. That's history. This, this is high school. Wake up to yourself, Smalley. a little vandal. G'day. Pick these up on the way home from work. There you go, James. Sup? Beauty. Oh, Bob, they're trying to do their homework. Just giving them a helping hand. Let them know what all the hard slogs for. Even geniuses have to know what they're busting the brain box for. Do you want them to be doctors and lawyers, Dad, or do you want, want them to end up doing what I do? What? Bottom verbs in the bathroom? Daryl? I'll have you know, Daryl, top of the class this morning, that that pong was the aftershave your mum gave you for Christmas. <laughs> Liar. Dad, I want Mark, you to see... Mark, with the class, Molly. You back me up on this. Was or was not that Duff Pong <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> saying his aftershave? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, Mark, I know you're trying to do your work, but that was uncalled for. I don't know where you get that temper from. Certainly not from your father or me. He's all right. He's just a bit tense. Tough at the top, eh, mate? Well, take it from me, it's gonna be worth it. You blokes are gonna be somebodies. Three of those each. Yes, Dad. Oh, just read quietly. I won't be any trouble. Darling, you know I can't concentrate with you hanging around the court. 
Anyway, you like excursions, off you go. Paris can be real pains, eh? Yeah, almost as much as boys. You are a famous person from history. Write a letter to a friend or relative telling them about your life. Now, today's excursion to the National Treasures Exhibition is to help you choose your famous person. Now, this project carries marks in English, social studies, as well as history. It's the big one, Smalley. I hope that little conversation was about history, Smalley. Yes, yes, sir. Good. You can share it with the rest of us. So, um, I was, I was just telling Wainwright, sir, uh, who won the 1929 Melbourne Cup. Well, I hope you told him correctly, Smalley, because if you didn't, you can spend the rest of today picking up litter on the Oval. It, it, it was fallow, sir. Off you go, Smalley. First, take this note to Mr. Savage. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I was thinking of 1930. The winner of the 1929 Melbourne Cup was Night March, sir. Sit. Race you to the bus, you doofus. They call me doofus. All right, everybody, straight on the bus, please. Wainwright, put that boy down. Um, thanks. How do you know that stuff? Um, I read a lot. You better go, you'll miss the bus. Aren't you coming? Do you chuck on buses, do you? There's something at the museum I don't want to see. Yeah, I don't like the guts and bottles much either. Smalley, Upton, on the bus. Oh well, you better go. He's a famous person from history, isn't he? Dracula, he's not. He's just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon it's sick mate gets to write letters from dead people. He could warp our minds. <laughs> he could end up working at a cemetery. Oh, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> this is so boring. Oh, I could be a door. <laughs> hey, fellas, you worked out who you're going to be yet? I can't think of anyone. I could be a boat. <laughs> I take it from all the talk that you've chosen your famous person from history? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Well, Smalley, I can't make you do well on this project. OK, everyone, most of you have seen this painting over here, and you should know by now who these famous people are. Now then, who's decided to be Governor Hindmarsh? Anyone? Nobody wants to be Mrs. Hindmarsh? completely outclassed his opposition to defeat Second Wind, to whom he conceded a stone by three lengths. Farlap, Australia's incomparable thoroughbred. Hey, Annie. Are you OK? Look, big baby, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Upton, it's okay. It won't bite you. <laughs> it's just a horse. It's not just a horse. It's the best racehorse in the history of the world. The whole of Australia loved this horse. The whole world did. 51 races, 37 wins, 14 wins in a row from September the 13th, 1930 to March the 4th, 1931. Upton, what's the matter? Are you all right? Um, sir, it's like this. Her uh, grandma was bitten at the races and she died and there's two horses and they're huge and they just fell on her and up and need some fresh air, sir. He was dead when they stuffed him. Farlap can't feel a thing. Yes, I can. What do you mean? Forget it. You and your numbskull mates just think it's a big joke. No, he won't. Not if you tell us what's going on. Listen, you know, you know, well, mental and stuff. It's OK. I won't tell anyone. I'm Farlap. It's my body. I'm the reincarnation of Farlap. Reincarnation? Reincarnation means when you die, you come back as someone else. Is that why some people have really bad skin? You leave your old body behind. Everyone's a reincarnation. All these people have been something else in past life. Kings, hey, explorers. Gotta be a Burrowing reptiles. Everyone's been something else before, including you. Me? Famous. You could tell Dad you'd been down in the wardrobe door and got brain damage. Do you mind? That's what I did when I came forth last year. Daryl, get out of there. I don't know what this obsession is with ice cream lately. I need the calcium. Oi, keep it down, keep it down. It's a bloke in here trying to knock together a prize-winning project. Show him what you're made of, champ. Okay, Wainwright. Okay, Abrazzetti. Come out and have your laugh, then rack off. It, it's just me. I, I just want to ask you a couple of things. Come on. It just sort of came to me. Farlet was incredibly popular, right? The whole country loved him. So it stands to reason. What does? Annie! Dad and I are going sailing. Your pasta's in the microwave. I'm having this life to stop me getting big-headed. That's why my olds don't give a stuff about me. How did it just sort of come to you? You want to find out who you were, don't you? No. I'm just sort of, you know, interested. Yeah. You've got to really want to know. I really wanted to know. Then it just sort of came to me. How do you mean? While I was watching this. Watch 
Nothing. Twelve movies and not a single... Standing up. <laughs> Oi! Watch. What's up with him? <laughs> Do you mind? Dear Mum, guess what? I'm Batman. <laughs> Indiana Jones. God. No. What's a saint? Seance. It's getting in touch with dead people to find out who you were before. Yeah. Reincarnation's a con. I saw it before on telly. You and Upton have been conned. You believe everything you see on telly? Yeah, I accept the news. If you've lived before, how come you're not all green and mouldy? Because you get a new body every life, dumbo. Gee, I wonder if I can come back as Deidre Armitage <laughs> in 5B. <laughs> Why are you doing this? I want to find out if I'm a somebody. Of course you're not a somebody. You're a kid. But what if we've all been somebody's in a past life? Don't you want to find out if we've done great deeds, won great victories, travelled great journeys? No. I might have caught something. Don't you want to get top marks in the project? What's reincarnation got to do with the project? Look how much Upton has written. This site seance. Oh, why are you doing it? Yeah, you can get away with that scot free. He's lost his sister. And 90% of his That's a no idea of scot free. Kate, life is hard enough as it is. We do have a business to run here. It's just our little boy has a whole life ahead of him. I want to give him the best chance. Yes. Well, maybe he needs to go to the city for that. No. Sitting in blue I reckon the whole lot is childish. Why'd you bring him along? I had to. It, it's his scrabble. Reincarnation is what you see in those dumb horror movies. Ah! Doofus. Don't call me Doofus. Here, have a look at this. Look. Look out! Someone's coming! somewhere else. Where else can we have a seance? At this time of night. Oh. Concentrate. Has Pino Abrazetti lived before? Can't you do me first? Mum always gets up for a tingle and so Shh. Has Pino Abrazetti had a past life? It's working. Or a 
guide us. He was an emperor of Rome. I'm sure of it. An emperor. Orlitis, orlitis. A toxic fungus mainly found on the droppings of <laughs> ruminants. <laughs> Can't wait to read the project. Thanks very much. We'll have some more tomorrow. Dad, why didn't we move when they built that bridge? We couldn't afford it. Kids, the sooner these grow and provide us with a bit of privacy, the better. It could be one of two things in this world. It could be the bloke who designs that bridge. It could be the bloke who cops this. Every day of my life, I wish my parents had made me get a decent education. You know what makes it OK working in a place like this? Knowing that one day you'll end up like him. Somebody. Somebody's do it. Nobody's get it done to him. I would have been so disappointed if you had it turned out to be ordinary. Hello. Hello. Come in. Oh, hi. Sit down. Past life hypnosis. Yes. It's all I've got. I'm afraid past life hypnosis costs $80 a session. Well, will you show me how to do it myself for $7.40? Wasn't she said? Self-hypnosis is a wane of the subconscious, the part of me that knows who I really am. Hope she's right. And she reckons when I wake up, the first thing I see will give me a clue. I don't say anything about laundry mat, and you don't say anything about ice cream. Fjord. What? Fjord. <laughs> what do you mean? Dad and the Fjord Falcon. That's it. Ford. Ford, that must be it. Henry Ford believed that every man, no matter what his income, should own an automobile. He pioneered the assembly line to make his famous Model T Ford, over 15 million of them in less than 20 years. You of all people, son, have got a good reason for missing history this morning. Research, sir. Well, Smalley, you are a dark horse. No, sir. That's Upton, sir. <laughs> Mom, Mom, guess what? you. 
legumes. I must have been kidding myself thinking anything would grow here. Whoever invented cards should be strung up! What a... What about the person who invented car factories? a shop, not a beauty parlor. Lazy boy. Sometimes I think he's not an Abrosetti. Rufus! Rufus, you're not coming out of that pigsty till you clean it up. I don't know where you get your filthy habits from. No wonder your father left home. A clue. I'm looking for a clue. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is ceramic in German, Stein. Ein Stein, Ein Stein Krug. Now I want you to say with me, Ein Stein, Ein Stein Krug. Now, Ein Stein, to say with me, Ein Einstein. Stein. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was one of the greatest theoretical scientists of all time. His theory of relativity was expressed in a simple equation. This became the foundation stone in the development of atomic energy. The first thing I see. Wainwright. Wainwright. Oh, that's me. for 63 years, the longest reign of any British monarch. She was Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Empress of India. Of mine. <laughs> You're not the only one who's going to cream the project in. <laughs> <laughs> Stirred the spirits of a depressed nation, 
people went on to back other horses to gamble their last remaining pennies, a gamble they could ill afford. There's Wainwright. Enoch Wainwright. I can't look. Well, come on. What do you think he's going to be? A genius, a billionaire, or a sporting legend? Enoch Wainwright, in 1593, was the inventor of tarpaulin. Tarpaulin? Ma! Ma! This reckons I invaded India, Africa and China. It killed thousands of people. And took slaves and broke up families and made everyone read the Bible. I didn't, did I? She wasn't all bad. She was the greatest empress of modern times. She had hundreds of millions of subjects. Oh, get lost. There aren't hundreds of millions of subjects. There's only maths, English, geography, social studies, health. I should have P. known what inventing car factories would lead to. You should have known what feeding my hamster curried prawns would lead to. But that didn't stop you. I wish I'd gone to the pictures instead of inventing the Model T Ford. Oh, it's my fault as well. People get used to gambling on the horses. Suddenly they're not worried about gambling with the planet. Come on, let's try to be positive. Forget about the bad stuff. There's heaps of good stuff to put in the project. What brand of toothpaste will you use? Stuff like that. Yeah. Where would the world be without tarpaulin? No tents. Nothing. Let's do the project, get the marks and stop being dags. We can't get out of it. We did this stuff. We're responsible. Easy for you. You just invented a few car factories. Brought the whole planet to the brink of nuclear destruction. You've got to make up for what we've done. All oh, right, I'd just pop over to America and Russia and tell them they can't use my principles of nuclear physics. Oh, come on, Pino. I'm serious. We've got to make up for it. He's right. How? I know this isn't much. Not from the bloke who's responsible for all the car fumes you have to put up with. But it's the best I can manage at the moment. Enjoy your day off, mate. ago I came up with some principles about nuclear physics. Well, I didn't know that they could be used to make bombs and things. So I told other people and they did. And they dropped them on you. Bombs. Atom bombs. Nuclear. Einstein. Einstein. Fireworks. Very pretty. Hanabi, that's your Hanabi. Hanabi, Hanabi. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. 
What about our projects? Everyone reads my projects at our place. Even Gran and she doesn't speak English. Hey, that's it. We'll make our projects letters of apology. Yeah, we could make copies and stick them into people's mailboxes. We're only kids. Well, well, well. How nice of you all to drop in like this. I've just been explaining to some of my colleagues why none of you have been at school for the past three days. Doing their projects, I said. Better be good projects, they said. Oh, they will be, I said. May I see what you've written so far? Smalley, this is less than you had a week ago, son. I've had some different ideas, sir. Well, they better be good ones, Smalley. Because if they're not, I'm going to have to start agreeing with what some of my colleagues have been saying. That you'd be better off at a different school. Hmm? G'day, champ. Hi, Dad. Daryl's at a mate's and your mum's at a gardening class. So we can have a little chat. I've been thinking about why you didn't show this to me. And I reckon I sort of know. But, Dad, I tried No, mate, let me finish. I've been uh, putting a lot of pressure on you. Too much pressure, I reckon. Because I was worried that you didn't know what was important. Like I didn't know what was important when I was your age. Eh? So I've been thinking a bit. And I reckon, if you're the smart bloke I've always said you are, then you do know what's important. Yeah? You're out of your brain. But if we're serious about this, we'll do a project that everyone will see. That means telly. How are we going to get on telly? We'll get on the news. How? We'll make some news. Make some news? Farlap's help. Good night, Fred. Good night, Ralph. Good night, Bob.
press conference, in the casino, in 30 minutes. Horse owner has been kidnapped. Asian, I think. Uh -huh. What's his name? Uh, Harlap. No, Farlap. Employers were angry that they were losing money in a strike. What do you make of that? Is this Mark? Well, it's in his folder. I don't know, it's going all the way to the casino. On loan to the Australian National Treasures Exhibition from the Victorian State Museum has been taken out of the complex. Police are investigating and will bring you further reports as they come. Um, stay by the phone. We're here at the Adelaide Casino. It's been 20 minutes since an anonymous caller summons the media here. As yet, there's still no word as to why we've been called, nor is there any sign of the missing legend, Fala. Anything over there? Uh, not that I can see.
said this. We came here to apologise. Me, Alma, Enoch, Victoria and Far. And we are sorry. But we think it's just not fair. It's not fair that we were stuffing the planet up. We were heroes. And now we're trying to fix it with just kids. I'll shift that kid and let him speak. My dad's always going on about success and doing what's important. Well, he's right. After we've been arrested and punished and all that's over, I'm going to spend the rest of my life making success of it. The planet! Us too! Yeah! 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 I don't know how yet, but I'll think of something. What I've learned from history is you can't wait for somebody else to do it. There isn't a somebody else. We're the